Ghana has come a long way towards the achievement of gender equity. In terms of education in urban areas, girls' enrollment is significantly high at the first and second cycle institutions. There has been an improvement in the number of female enrollments in the universities compared to some years back. In the corporate world, women are taking up more challenging jobs and breaking barriers. However, this situation is not the same in rural communities in Ghana, where age-old traditions continue to hold women from achieving their full potential. Jinjinabani is a community under the Nanumba North District in the northern region of Ghana. In this community, as in most communities in Ghana, there is a distinct division of labor along gender lines. The man usually tills the land and provides leadership at home. The woman, on the other hand, cooks, nurtures children, fetches water and keeps the home. This arrangement puts a lot of burden on the rural woman. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs have set targets to end this arrangement and improve the lot for women, children and the family by 2030. As part of this effort, the Institute of Social Research and Development, ISRAD Ghana, a local non-governmental organization in partnership with Plan International Ghana with funding support from Global Affairs Canada is working with families to improve the health outcomes for women and children. Mr. Dana is 43 years old and a native of Jinjinabani in the Nanumba North District of the Northern Region. He is married with two wives and has five children. Mr. Dana mentors other men to be supportive of their wives. The Dana family at Jinjinabani is a model family where the man works hand in hand with his wives. Their day usually starts with the man opening the hen coop to let out the birds and feed them. Mr. Dana continues his day by bathing the children after he has helped them to brush their teeth. The wives, on the other hand, clean the household, fetch water and prepare breakfast for the children. Soon, the children are ready and after taking them to school, Mr. Dana returns home and departs to the farm with his wives. Mr. Dana is also raising up his male children to help in the household chores. Mr. Dana is not only a family man. Part of his job is to mentor other men in the community. <laughs> Apart from discussing social and family issues with them, Mr. Dana also leads a savings and loans group in the community. His job requires tact and diplomacy to keep all members motivated to stay in the group. Someone <laughs> 
The group also does menial jobs to earn extra income to support one another. Mr. Dana also takes keen interest in the health of his children and wives. He has just been notified that one of the children is running temperature and he hurries with the boy and mom to the health center. Joint decision making at the family level is a key aspect of the show project. This evening, the Danas have a key decision to make regarding the family's welfare. And Mr. Dana rallies together his two wives. The show project will take time to bear fruits. However, its objectives look promising and hopefully more men will emulate the example of Mr. Dana in supporting their female partners in maternal and child health as well as sexual and reproductive health rights, household chores and child care involving their female partners in taking decisions. The North Gunja district of the northern region is one of the youngest districts in the country. The inhabitants are predominantly farmers but are also engaged in fishing. Daboya is about 137 kilometers and takes approximately two hours to drive there from the northern regional capital, Tamale. Daboya, the capital of the North Gunja district, is famous for its smocks, which is a major source of employment for the youth. In this district, like most districts in Ghana, occupations and household chores are influenced by gender norms, roles and responsibilities. The show project, which is aimed at contributing to the reduction of maternal and child mortality, is working in the North Gonja district to transform the unequal gender norms and power relations which has a negative impact on the health of women in rural areas including adolescent girls, newborns and children. Teenage pregnancy is a major issue in this community. Patience Mahama is a 32-year-old woman with four children. She lives in Daboya with her husband. Patience Mahama is a trader and the leader of the village savings and loans scheme. On a typical day, she sets out to town with the aim of sensitizing young girls and women on the need to practice family planning. As a role model, Patience Mahama has a Herculean task to lift young girls out of this challenge. She mentors them 
to focus on their education and delay childbirth. At the household level, the husband, Mahama Sofo, plays an important role helping his wife in taking care of the children, feeding and bathing them. Here, we see a man and his wife complementing each other, reflecting real partnership. While the woman sweeps the compound, sets fire and fetches water, the husband washes the dishes, baths the son and gets him ready to leave for school with his three sisters. Because of the role men play when it comes to maternal and child health issues, patients find time to discuss the importance of male support in the maternal and child health issues for good health outcomes. Any good nutrients, any adjuvant. So I don't follow money. I'm not going to move. Even further, I'm not going to do this. I'm buying school. I'm buying car. I'm not going to buy anything. 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 I'm not going to buy about helping their wives. Dang so, for by a catch at Luna, a china tea, Chanaka book, and Barantina car, Kai, little pool, may bow over his economy. Macamo Warley, a new warning, Macamo Warley, a new warning, to come where I can send a time machine about water. May you go by a little black. Patience Mahama also goes from house to house to sensitize women, girls and their male partners on danger signs throughout the continuum of care and the appropriate response to take. She also sensitizes them on family planning among other maternal and child health as well as sexual reproductive health rights topics. Husband and wife also find time to have a conversation from the mundane to the crucial family issues or taking important decisions. Patients Mahama's role in the community is yielding positive results since most of the young girls listen to her advice in practicing safe sex. Chorga canan bibata bibela can sign ye funny, cabal to mona beta and kung and bamusna, and you know kumuga, and you make in a kumuka scam on a kala, and no kumfenke, and cabin for comfort she could do a dag of cartridge for kum in family plan, and cut for kum and any anisa can digit for. Behavior change is a process. And as the saying goes, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. The efforts of Patience Mahama will go a long way to help young girls take control of their bodies and make better and informed choices concerning their sexual and reproductive health and rights, as well as adult women in seeking appropriate health services during the continuum of care with the support of their male partners.
Nyaria is a farming community in the North Gonja district of the northern region. It is a male-dominated community and women have specific roles to play in this society. The Abubakars are a polygamous family with many children. In spite of the male dominance in this community where women are expected to carry out specific activities, Mr. Abubakar is not worried about the status quo. He wakes up early in the morning and after prayers sets fire, heats water for one of the wives to bath the children. His wives clean the household and fetch water. This shared responsibility helps the entire household. Mr. Abubakar also ensures that the children are ready for school by preparing them breakfast. After the children have departed for school, Mr. Abubakar and his wife also leave for the farm. At the end of farming activities for the day, Mr. Abubakar helps his wife to get firewood for the home. The husband does not leave the wives out when making decisions, especially those that affect their domestic settings. His first wife is impressed and can't hide her joy. <laughs> wa ya nam sabrane da mi ya val maha ozim kena la ya ya la wa wadu bu se dinu aya ni zong ya ya ban wotel kan ya tanam ya kokuni ra do asa a passe in in ka ja sika sa ko ye din do in han dong la ka a kutuk de sa in ka fwa to kena ni ya fla ya la le ngatu a fwa bu se dinti o la ya wa ru bu se dinti da ha ya wa ba ba se ya sa ko te a passe Alia kana na ya 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 la tosi ya mala ya ka cha samaga wala sun ya ne to kenda ha kana na afuna no ya la lano ya zihinsu ya wabra ya adiwa hala ya wahala zi yalo adha ya bati wo sun ya sun ti o pa ya barka ya zo ba sono Mr. Abubakar has a huge challenge convincing his colleagues in the community to support their wives in doing household chores. In spite of the daunting task of changing behaviors, Mr. Abubakar pushes through and speaks to his colleagues on several issues relating to the show project. One area in which the men however agree with Mr. Abubakar is in the area of savings and loans. <laughs> Kanyama. <laughs> Koko mbisa kan kwa bala asibiti lure wara banya ba chem force ba banyo lijen luruti ana alanfia 
Adan dan kwansna jende me ya tsaban kwaya hanta ban tabbasa adi chene ne ya ban ya sel awata di wurin hunke with the ongoing sensitization by NGO staff child health volunteers and girls education champions on the importance of male support during the continuum of care and household chores involving females in decision making and the important examples role models like Mr. Abubakar are setting in Baria. There is hope of a changing community. Ma Samata is a trader, traditional birth attendant, farmer, wife and mother at Buariili under the Nanumba North District of the Northern Region. The inhabitants of this community are predominantly farmers who produce yam, cassava, cereals and legumes. Some of their produce is sold to earn revenue for the family. Masamata is an influential community leader and most of the women in this community look up to her. She is a role model in the community and leads other women to embrace the wind of change. Though she is a busy trader, moving from farms where she buys her produce to the market where she sells, she makes time to cultivate her own farm. Additionally, she mobilizes women in the community to uplift one another out of poverty through a village savings and loans scheme. During such meetings, Masamata takes the opportunity to emphasize the importance of men supporting their wives to seek health care, especially during pregnancy. She also advises them to help with household chores and involve their wives in decision making. <laughs> Having realized the importance of education, Masamata leads the way in educating her children. She ensures that the children are fed breakfast and made ready for school. The children are always enthusiastic as they prepare them for school. On very busy days, Masamata relies on the assistance of other women in the community and through this, she also grooms them. The show project has just begun its first steps with role models such as Ma Samata. It is hoped that the project will enhance female leadership and create more space for female participation in decision making. It is envisaged that the development will increase antenatal care and postnatal care, promote skilled delivery and enhance access to immunization 
as well as the general healthcare of children.